No, I don't waste no time Well, what's going on guys? My name is Joshua Daniel George and welcome to a new video and I was actually supposed to be recording a Facebook ads troubleshoot video today but then someone in the lifestyle design community actually asked me if I wanted to create a video on biohacking and productivity etc because he was struggling with being productive while working from home now with everything that is going on. I thought you know what that is actually quite an interesting topic and why not just mix it up a bit and basically dedicate this video to biohacking and I understand that it is a bit of a buzzword nowadays, you know, it's basically everyone who is into entrepreneurship, etc. now looks into biohacking and, and stuff like that. But basically what I want to do today is just show you guys um, a little bit about my setup and about my morning routine and how I basically structure my day for ultimate productivity. And it actually starts with my evening routine and a lot of routines, like morning routines and how to be productive, etc. start with get up early, get up at 5 a.m., you know, get up as early as possible, uh, wake up before everyone else does, beat the sunrise and stuff like that. And I always think to myself, well, you know, if I get up extremely early, I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day being tired and you're not being productive at all because I haven't had enough sleep. So for me, a morning routine actually starts off the night before. And I always think to myself, rather than trying to get up earlier, just try and go to bed a bit earlier because you'll naturally wake up earlier as well and you'll be more productive because of it because you've had a good night's sleep. So the first thing I do in the evening, I try and stop work at half past nine at night. So 9.30 p.m. I have an alarm set on my phone that will go off and basically tell me to stop working. Usually I'm still at my laptop or at my desk uh, working away and then I'll try and finish things off from there and no longer, um, you know, basically start any new tasks. Then what I do is I come over to the other side of my bedroom and I make sure that these blinds are open. Why? Because the sun rises on the east side and because my bed is over here, um, the sun will basically rise at this side of the bedroom and you know with with the blinds open I will literally wake up with the sunrise and it's just an easy way for me to basically wake up earlier because if my room is completely dark then I struggle to get up and I know that you know I'm I'm not necessarily lazy but small things like that like for example having all the blinds shut and having the room pitch black will make it harder for me to get up second thing I obviously have is my wake up light, which I've shown you guys uh, many times before, basically what that does again is just like um, emulates sunrise. So I have that set for half past six. So from six in the morning, that slowly starts uh, brightening up, going brighter and brighter, and literally just like, like I said, you know, mimicking the sunrise. So I've got like a double sunrise thing going on over there with the blinds open on the east side and then the sunrise um, emulation going on with my alarm. Um, you know, basically I just naturally wake up around 6 to 6.30 a.m. If I don't naturally wake up at 6 to 6.30 a.m., I also have my Alarmy uh, app on my phone, which literally does not go off until I scan the barcode, which is here on my little money box, as you can see here. Um, I'll probably show you guys a bit of B-roll of that. But basically, it's until I scan that barcode, you will hear the most annoying sound in the world. Until I actually physically get out of bed and uh, scan that barcode to make sure it is switched off. But back to the evening beforehand, because this is still everything that I set up in the evenings. Uh, this is my little evening stack here. As you can see, I've got... Uh, lavender oil, which is supposed to put on your wrists. I used to have a lavender oil spray for my pillars as well, but that is all gone. No idea where this is from. I actually got this in Switzerland. So when I went to see the European Cup final back in 2016, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we went to this quite fancy hotel and they had those little bottles of uh, lavender oil for, like I said, your wrists and for your pillars. And I was knocked out instantly. I, I've never slept so deep in all my life. Obviously, we spent the majority of the day walking as well. So that obviously did play a part with it. But I just knew I had to get my hands on that stuff. Um, I'm not going to link in the description box down below, anything like that. Um, but basically, I'm trying to see if it's, it's called This Works, I think, thisworks.tm. Um, I will try and find it, but like I said, just Google this works, um, lavender oil, and you'll probably find it. Next to that, I've got a big 
gallon of uh, water just to stay hydrated. And what I notice is if I drink a lot during the night, um, obviously it will make you pee. So that is another reason why you need to get up in the morning. But um, I am less lethargic in the mornings and I'm more productive because of it, you know, because I am hydrated and, you know, I don't, because obviously if you're hydrated, you have more energy. If I don't drink a lot of water uh, the night before, then I haven't got a lot of energy and I tend to drink more coffee, which I'm trying to limit at the time. I also have zinc and magnesium tablets uh, that did not focus. And I also have vitamin D3 as well. Why? Because obviously, you know, as an agency owner, you don't really get outside all too much because you're constantly in work mode. So that is it for like the even stack then when I get up of the morning. Uh, the first thing I do is I go for a morning walk. So what I'll do is I'll have a cup of coffee in a paper cup, like a little to-go cup. Um, go for a quick morning walk, listen to an audio book. Currently reading Crushing It by Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, interesting book. Um, it, is, it is one of the, I've read all of Gary V's content. So it's not new for me, but it's always good to basically just like, you know, refresh the brain in terms of like Gary V's vision, etc. Then we come over here to uh, the little reading nook, if you will. And basically what I do here is I will reread what I've read um, you know, while going on my walk, maybe highlight some things that I found interesting, come over here. Um, right in my five minute journal, which is literally just like a um, kind of a gratefulness journal, if you will. Um, just write down three things that you're grateful for, three things that will make the day great, uh, a daily affirmation, and then at the end of the day, uh, write down three amazing things that happens, which I usually do the day after. So I'll write, for example, if this is this morning, then I'll write down the three amazing things that happened the day before uh, while I'm writing the morning one as well. Just, I don't know, just the way, the way my sort of morning routine has gone. Then from there, we'll go over to the desk. Uh, this is my to-do list. So I'll write down a to-do list here of the most important activities and also the income producing activities, which most more often than not are the same thing. Cause like I said, the most important tasks for me. I just want to quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that I have a free social media marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. So basically what I've done is I have created a custom audience with Google Ads. Uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where I basically give you the direct link to download this course. So it's an unpublished link on Teachable which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel. So if you want a free social media marketing course, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and then you will see my advertisements. So without further ado, let's hop back into the video. Are the activities that actually produce uh, income producing results. Then from there, I'll get my first work block in and also track everything in my daily health tracker. As you can see here, I love data and I like to basically optimize as much as possibly can. So I will basically track my get up time, sleep quality, morning weigh in, if I journal or not, my morning walk, what time I start work, what time my deep work, or basically, you know, if I do get a deep work block in, I track my calories, I track my vitamin intake, my income producing activities, my screen time, and I'll give myself a daily rating for the day. So in terms of sleep quality, what I use is an app called uh, Sleep Cycle, which uh, basically does the same as an Aura Ring does. You know, a lot of people have those Aura Rings to track their sleep quality. I just use the Sleep Cycle app. It's like literally like two for the euro in the app store. This uses the same thing, so that's what I use for the time being. Highly recommend it. Like I said, it's just uh, a way, a great way to track um, how deep you sleep, what your sleep quality is like, and if you've slept enough, and if you haven't slept enough, and you're not as productive, then you know exactly why that is, because you haven't got a good enough amount of sleep. Then, in terms of the productivity, what I also have is the following. This is a air purifier, and what that literally does is just, it's like a fan, but then rather than um, blowing out cold air, it will literally suck in air and uh, get rid of all like the, the bacteria and stuff like that that are in the air, you know, with all the pollution, all the carbon dioxide, and make sure that the air in my uh, workspace slash bedroom is as, you know, as clean as possible because uh, the more carbon dioxide there is in the air, 
the less productive you are and the more sleepy you will get as well. Speaking of sleepiness, obviously, you know, the longer the day goes on, the more tired you will get, the less energy you will have. But because I'm consistently and constantly looking at a screen, either my desktop, either my laptop or my phone, I do have these blue light blocking glasses. Um, I have night mode and flux on my computers, but I also have the blue light blocking glasses just uh, to make sure that I limit the amount of blue light that I actually get, especially towards the end of the day. So usually I will put these on after my, uh, you know, after dinner. And then from there, like the, the last few hours of the day, I'll wear these blue light blocking glasses just to make sure that um, my screen time doesn't affect my, um, basically my sleep quality. Another thing I take after my dinner is green tea extract, which will boost my metabolism and give me just one last little uh, caffeine boost in the later hours of the day. And that is basically it guys. That is um, basically what I use and what I utilize to be as productive as possible. Uh, more often than not, I will be at my desk uh, getting all the stuff done. Sometimes I will um, use my laptop. I've got the 16 inch MacBook Pro and I also have this nice little contraption called a neck stand, which comes in this um, like little handy little carrier bag. And what they, that will allow me to do is basically have my laptop a little bit higher and then I'll connect my keyboard to it. And then it's like a desktop, but then I can just move around the house and maybe get some work done in the kitchen or you know go to a um, coffee shop or anything like that to uh, get the rest of the work done and that is it in terms of my biohacking slash productivity tips that is how i organize my day for ultimate productivity if you enjoy videos like this please let me know in the comments down below and i'll make sure to make a few more stuff like videos or content like this and um, just to switch it over because obviously most of my content is smma related and facebook ads related so even for me this is kind of refreshing to basically be able to create that sort of after court video like this subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already and i'll see you all in the next video